Hello, everybody. Uh, this is kind of an important video I wanted to make. Um, if you are thinking about buying a, a newer more version of Death Row, uh, you need to be informed on how it's going to break because it will break. The old ones used to break, but not as quickly. The, the, the main problem with the newer ones is they move a lot faster than the old ones and their mechanism breaks off. Uh, like I said, it happened with the old ones. I have three of the old ones, which two were store, to store displays that were going to be thrown out, so I got them. But they all broke in the same area. Same with two thrashing clowns at the store. They both broke. I wish I would have gotten the clowns instead, because they're a lot harder to find, and they got thrown out, pretty much. So, But it happens to all of them, and there's, there's a certain pattern they start to move in when their part is broke. Like, they'll still move, but they won't move the way they originally were intended. So, I'll show you how to identify if the part is broken and how they'll move. But anyways, uh, yeah, here, here, first of all, here's how fast the newer models go. Like that is really, f and you might be thinking they. Were, this was all. This is also not mine. This is uh, JCO's, or uh, his name is Evan, and uh, I like he didn't have it very long, and it. I'd say these last an hour tops of it. <laughs> I mean, and you might be thinking he used an overpowerful adapter or a high, higher adapter, but he, no, it like it. That's the adapter it came with, and. Uh, Sometimes I know that Techie Toys, the adapter will say 6 volt, but it's a voltage higher than a 6 volt. Like, I've had many Techie adapters that are, uh, that give more power than other Techie adapters, which I assume to be 7 volts because they just move so fast that it's just destructive. But I don't even know if that's the case because Jaden has a 2013 Death Row and Thrashing Clown, and his moves just as fast with fresh batteries, and that's not normal for 2013 models to really move fast like that. None of ours ever did, and I, like I said, I, there was two clowns at the store, and then mine, it, they never went as fast as Jaden's, and then I've seen le many Death Rows in person, and they just do not usually move that fast as far as I've noticed, but, but here's how it's gonna break. Here's the first thing that's wrong with the newer models. Look at how the wire comes off. You see how they have these wires hot glued? Well, it's so retarded. Like, look, they left no room for the wires to be able to move around freely without being... Because, you see, this mechanism here, it swivels back and forth as it mo And it slices the wire off. See where... So, if you get a newer death row, take this hot glue off immediately before you activate it. Just don't even... It doesn't need it. These wires need to move around freely because it's just like the puking zombie. They zip tied the wires down too low, but the wires were really long. So if they would have actually pulled the wires up and then zip tied it, it would have been fine. But it's the same thing here. The wire was, you know, they're, they're long enough if you take the glue off. But since they have the glue, they look so short. And as you can see, this part of the wire, you know can't move because it's glued, whereas this lower part is being sliced when this mechanism is moving back and forth. And, you know, usually once after the piece in here breaks, the wires will come off then, because that happened with both of our thrashing clowns, but just get rid of this glue. It doesn't need it. It's going to last longer without the glue. And then here's the piece that breaks. Look at that's really bad. This is where the piece swivels from. And you can see it's so violent that it just cracks the plastic right off. And so it, they they can crack in three different spots. You see the base where the screw goes into it? That can crack off, and I have a picture of that because that happened with one of mine. Uh, sometimes it's up in the topper part where the screw goes into, and then sometimes it's where you, like you see in this picture. So there's almost nothing you can do to prevent this from happening. And I don't even know, I can't even figure out a way that you could reinforce this. To where it won't break because like i said this does happen to the old models just not as quickly uh the faster they move the quicker they're gonna break uh here's what here's a 2013 model this is the one that i originally bought but then this is the one that i gave to lucas and 
I forgot where the other two are broken at, but I think one of them is the topper part. But after I tried gluing this, but after that, that same part that you saw broken on the other one is broken on my on this one now too. So it's broken two spots now. So there's nothing you can do to fix this. But see how it cracked from that circle area? It's not attached very well by much. It's bad. And then here's the 2013 model. Here's how these are glued. Look at how much longer the wire is. And see, look at how much better the gluing is. I've never had these wires tear off before. So you can see they really lack on their newer models. It's terrible. I thought their quality was improving, but it's going down as far as, I mean, at least for death row anyways. I mean, people keep asking Spirit to bring back death row, but they're not, techie, death row is not as uh, exclusive to Spirit anymore. Death row has been sale, for sale since 2016 yet. It just hasn't been at Spirit. It's been on Amazon. It's been on... It goes on J. Marcus every single year for pre or, or for uh, retailers to buy. Um, it Death Row can be available at many places. He's available everywhere, but he's usually called Electric Prisoner now, or Chair Prisoner, or something like that. Electrocuted Prisoner, something like that. Yeah. But it's just sad because the quality that of death row nowadays is like something that would be thirty dollars back in like two thousand seven or like he there's not a lot to death row there's not much construction as you think there is it's just something that just wouldn't be so expensive if it was an older animatronic from the really early days i mean he's just so cheap his quality is cheap Now to buy it, they are extremely faulty. The first thing that started happening in my mind is the wire pulled off, which was an easy fix. I fixed Let's it. Go. Let's skip have it for a couple months, and I didn't even use it a lot. Ones besides I don't know. the spirit ones, do right not buy it. They are easy. the first mind. It, it, after that, it just started going extremely slow. I didn't even have it for most of the time. I just stayed on today to see how it was. Check on it, and one of the pieces on the the box is snapped off. I don't know where. Maybe you guys can see it, but I, I can't see it. But somewhere over here, it snapped this piece completely off, so it thrashes extremely weird. Yeah, but no. Hey, look at that. See how that box? See how it swivels so much? Like yeah. There's just no way that piece can hold that. Is, but look, the I think he shows what it moves like. Maybe not. Anyways, I have videos of what they and move I'm like when that piece is broken. Like I'll show you. I'll probably show you with the clown and uh, death row. And honestly, it's not that bad when that piece breaks because again, the item still moves. It just doesn't move the way that it's intended to. But a regular person wouldn't notice. I think most people who own one that actually... I, I've watched a lot of videos of them. And there's a lot of people that have some that broken. That probably don't even know that they're broken. And there's some people in this community that theirs are broken. And I bet they don't even know or realize. And, you know, it's weird. Because I ha I've had, you know, Electrified Maniac ever since 2014. He was the store display. And I don't, it's the same mech, and I swear he's not broken in that piece, I don't think, which means it's gonna soon if it hasn't yet, because it's been used quite a bit at this point. And uh, Experimental Eddie from last year is has a similar mech too, so I don't know. Our, our store display never gave out in that area, so. Here's a broken thrashing clown at my store. This is the second one that we set up with that broken. The clowns go really fast. The death rolls typically last a longer. Uh, here's the first one when it was broken. It had, no, notice that a lot of them have a more circular face, but then there's the second star display, mine, and then there's Jaden's, which has more of a like thin face, but the, the face looks, looks longer, but it's thinner, and it looks it's like more oval-shaped.
And here's when it was, the first one was working. That's one, that's the one that they turned off the last time when I was recording it. Wait. Looks like he's lunging out of his chair. <laughs> and here's the second one working. Now here's a comparison of the death rows. Wait, is this guy on? Oh, yeah. That's the broken one. Well, that was the store one. Also, the newer one, it has different blood stains on the shirt. It, it's like dripping down, whereas these ones, you can't really tell the blood as much, and they're like circular blood dots. <laughs> Kevin actually fixed that sort of spoon when he's here, but I think it kind of broke right away again. But it still works better. I it still was working ones last year. During this episode. camera. Mine. That. The one I originally had bought, which is this one with the thin. Like you said, this is another one. This one has a thinner head, and then the sort of had a fatter head. Like, anyways, but this one actually broke in 2014. You know, in that video of Papa Porewolf where it wasn't working right, it's called Almost All My Spirit Halloween Props. That's the first video where I noticed it was broken in, and that was pretty early, because I typically never really used Death Row. I usually used it on the high voltage box, which which would never really get activated. Um, so it was weird that it broke that soon. <laughs> And just to show you, here's my thrashing clown. Uh, I, this one's been, I've used this every year during our display now since 2017, and it's always in the tunnel and it's always activated. I'm surprised that piece has not broke on him yet, but last year I think it was starting to because it was starting to move a little, a little different. I could tell the movement was getting, was changing. So I know this year it's definitely going to be broke, but again, it's still going to thrash. Nobody's going to notice the difference really, unless you can compare them side to side well, well to me i can tell but other people who are not experienced with these would never know but yeah See, that's how fast mine goes Okay, all right. I see you. I see you. Hey, someone's gonna jump out at me here. Check, check the jumping spider. Oh, what? Can I touch that? Oh, Jesus Christ.
there's Boogeyman, Electrified Quartz, some more Electrified Quartz. Where's Grandpa? Oh, I'm afraid he'll get... Oh, so yeah, and you guys gotta also, got also remember that this can happen with Thrashing Mummy, Thrashing Zombie. Well, the Insane Serial Killer is, uh, well, the older models, they're made different, and he broke somewhere else. Like, he broke, like, where, like, somewhere along his, like, pole area. So, like, he kind of, like, snapped and... What the? Oh, yeah, it looked like it was paused. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I showed where he was broken. It wasn't that area, but, I mean, he could, but, like, I don't know. Insane Serial Killer was just odd the way he broke. And a lot of them, I noticed, they a pole that inserts the head the head part snaps off underneath the shoulders now, these older models. Because this one's head was snapped off. One of the other displays in my unit, his head is snapped off. The mummy was extremely snapped, and it did, I don't know, they're just all snapping in the head area. I don't think that's a problem the newer ones have yet, because they're, again, newer. <laughs> but, but they have all the other problems, like with the wires ripping off in the... Oh, yep, that piece just broke again. Oh, whatever. It still thrashes. I don't even care. See, that piece just broke right off again. Anyways, so yeah, like you said, if you want to get a newer death row, that's fine. But just know that that piece is definitely going to break. And if you're fine with it moving the way I've been showing you how they move when they're broken, then that's also fine. But... Yeah, be, definitely take that hot glue off that holds those wires on if you don't want to be redoing the wires because they will pull off. That was just terrible. I was like, when I saw that photo, I was like, what idiots did that? <laughs> Thought that was going to work. I mean, I don't know. And here is uh, how fast uh, Jaden's thrashing clown is. Like I said, I've never seen another one this fast. I mean, I... How his... So yeah, how his never broke yet, I have no idea. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty much it. I know I got a little off topic again, but like I just wanted to show, you know, my examples. So, uh, yeah, so it, I guess that's it. So if you have any questions, I guess we'll talk about it in the comments and let's see you in the next video.